Hi, Periscope. Let's see here. Oops. Hello, hello, Periscope world. Uh, my name is Jenny, and I vlog at adomesticwildflower.com. Hi, Emily. Hello, Matthew Head. And um, I wanted to show you um, some shrubs I'm making. Um, a shrub is a very simple preserve that um, is getting a lot of action on the internet right now. Um, and they seem kind of weird and scary, but they are delish. Hi, Vendem. And... Um, so I made one, and I blogged about it on a domesticwildflower.com under the uh, simple cooking section. And the first one I did was a straw, a rhubarb, pineapple, balsamic shrub. And what it is, is there's about a cup and a half or two cups of fruit, and um, two cups of vinegar, and about a cup and a half of sugar. And you chop it up and let it sit in a jar on your counter for about a week. Pretty much, that's that's the formula, and then you strain out the fruit, which is what I'm going to do with you this evening, and then you have a thick syrup, or kind of a thick syrup. I guess it's not thick enough for pancakes, but it's a syrup. Hi, and um, then with that vinegary, sweet, fruity concoction, you can um, add sparkling water and my favorite tequila, and make a um, like a cocktail. You could just enjoy it with um, sparkling water and ice. You can, um, you could drink it straight, but it's pretty strong and probably would put some hair on your chest. So, you know, it's up to you. But, uh, so this is my strawberry rhubarb shrub, and I did it with um, uh, apple cider vinegar and no balsamic. Hi, Tom Tom Knop. And um, and I didn't do any balsamic. That's why it's not dark, dark brown. Um, this one uh, was a riff on my last success, and I don't know if it's going to turn out. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I did uh, rhubarb and some strawberry and a little pineapple, because that's what I had in the fridge. And that all smelled awesome. And then... And I did the balsamic vinegar, which is delicious, and you should check out that recipe on my blog, adomesticwildflower.com, under the simple cooking section. But then I added pickling spice, and I don't, it smells kind of good, I just, I don't know. Yeah, like, that's what it looks like. Pickling spice is like bay leaf and peppercorns and other, like what you see at the bottom of the pickle jar, you know, when Green Aunt Susie cans them, I guess. And... Like, I think I like it, but I'm not sure. I guess we'll just, we'll see tonight. Um, but that's, that's my shrubs, and I'm going to strain them now. So, I'll start with my, um, guaranteed success. I am so excited about this strawberry pineapple. For real, it smells delicious. Um, so I have some cheesecloth, which, um, of course you could make, use to make, uh, like mozzarella or goat cheese chev. Um, or that's what... People always use to make, um, like they mix up Elmer's glue and water and drape cheesecloth over like a wire shape and then make uh, like Casper the Friendly Ghost things for Halloween. That's also what you might use cheesecloth for if you didn't use, use it for uh, cheese making or shrub making. But anyway, it's just very uh, loose weave cotton and I have this old fashioned uh, strainer thing. And I'm going to pour, ooh, carefully here, um, I'm also canning in the kitchen, so it is hotter than the bowels of hell. If <laughs> I look a little steamy, that's why. Okay, so it's apple cider vinegar, pineapple, strawberries, sugar, oh, and I did honey, too. I did half a cup of honey, um, and it smells amazing. I'm so excited. Okay, so here we go. You can't see anything, Jenny. Jeez Louise. Okay. This is awkward. Oh, you can see now. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Um, you don't. We would. You wouldn't have to use uh, cheesecloth if you didn't care about 
little teeny tiny pieces of fruit or a little sediment, a little cloudy, that wouldn't affect the flavor at all, and nor would it affect how long it would last, but it would be... Oh, don't be sorry. You can use shrubs. Um, to, mostly as a, as a mixer and a mixed drink. That's how I like them. So they're vinegary and sweet and fruity, and I mix them like one part alcohol, one part shrub, and like two or three parts sparkling water. Delish. Um, okay, so wide, wide world of Periscope. So that's what it looks like after that fruit has been sitting on my counter since not Sunday a couple days ago, but the previous Sunday. So it's like kind of broken down, kind of pale, kind of ugly, but kind of pretty. Um, I've read that people put this, save this vinegary fruit and put it on yogurt. I'm not supposed to eat yogurt, so I'm going to compost it. Sorry, fruit. Not very frugal of me, but that's okay. Um, and then below, is look how pretty. It is, that's how pretty that is. Holy Moses. Let me wipe the steam off the jar. Pretty, yes? Give me a little heart if you think that is a very pretty shrub color. <laughs> okay. So there you go. So unlike the other, lots of other um, preserves I make, um, this is a super, super easy one. Like, no steam required, not hard, just chopping up fruit, pouring a little vinegar and sugar in a jar, and then you've made a shrub. So I'm just letting a little bit of, of this seep out. And then, um, yeah, then I'm going to put the fruit in the compost bin, and I'll be done with that shrub. Are there any questions about shrubs or canning or any other um, weird, wild kitchen pursuits that I can answer while I'm straining this out? Thanks for the little green hearts there. Okay, Periscope world. Okay, I'm going to put this in the compost. Holy cow, it's hot. Okay. That was my timer for my tomatoes. So, um, I'm going to set this aside. And they get my second jar for my rhubarb. I don't know if it's going to be awesome or not, but we're going to try it. So here's my, my funnel and my strainer. I'm just using the same cheese cloth, but just the other, like, the other side of it that has no fruity uh, berries on it. Okay. I need a better setup, but that's okay. Okay, here goes nothing. Here's my uh, rhubarb. Okay. So it's pretty ugly. <laughs> but uh, there it is. Um, that's rhubarb and strawberry and um, pickling spice and balsamic vinegar and plain white sugar. And I'll be blogging about it soon as long as it's as delicious as I think it will be. I'm just a little hesitant on the spices. I think it'll be good. I think it'll be delish. Um, okay, let's see here what the color is. It's like black magic. Delish. Um, and that yielded pretty close to three cups of deliciousness. Um, are there any questions about um, making shrubs, Periscope? Okay, I think I have to um, conclude for this evening. It's getting close to my bedtime, but thank you for joining me. And be sure to check out a adomesticwildflower.com, and I will be sure to be blogging about these shrubs and the ways you can use them and the recipes there soon. Have a good night.